Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an HP laptop. So if you turn it around, take a look at the back of your model here. It says HP laptop 14 dash DQ2031G. I think that's the number. It's really hard to read it. Um, 14 dash D a two zero three one tg yep anyway i can't really read it but in this video i'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement from start to the end all right so let's go ahead and get started show you show some of the uh layout on the laptop here hopefully yours look the same as mine and this is the screen. So the screen is not a touch screen. It's just a made it regular LCD screen. And um, there's no screw or anything that holds, holds down the screen. So in other words, the bezel is adhesive and clip on together. So the best way to do is to get yourself a metal prying tool. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut that adhesive tape. So there is a tape running all around the bezel. If the screen is already cracked and is broken, then it is okay to scratch the screen because you're replacing with a new one. While you're separating the bezel, every time when I lift it up, I try to be gentle with it because I do not want to break the bezel. This is just a plastic and it can actually crack and, and snap. So be careful when you separate the bezel especially towards the uh, microphone and the, and the webcam here in the top 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 of your laptop just be very careful not to scratch or cut any of the uh, the wires yep you can see that this little white thing those are double-sided adhesive tape that is taping down the bezel Okay, so those are like the double-sided tape. Alright, so we finally removed the entire bezel. 
let me just recap what happened the screen itself has the black protected somewhat like aluminum foil right here underneath right so when you separate the bezel try to separate the adhesive this white adhesive away from that black plastic so sometimes because it is stick together so you may actually separating the lcd screen plastic like what i did here i was doing that and i said uh-uh i saw a green board right here meaning that i am not separating correctly so i went back and i separate in between the the bezel and the plastic right here the lcd plastic okay at the same time i was also separating the cover so this little silver tab is the cover that is holding on to the bezel you see all these little holes here so those are the holes that was clipping onto this silver cover right there so you need to separate them and then when you remove it you have to uh, not have them latched together if that makes sense okay so the entire bezel is removed now you can move on to the next step right at this point here the next step you like to separate the screen it looks like the lcd screen is not anything that uh, screw into it in other words it is double-sided taping down the screen so i do notice that the screen has this little black tape that is on the corner here so what it is is this little black thing is actually a double-sided tape it's very gooey and sticky and as you pull it it's just like a string of cheese okay so what you want to do is you want to pull this little black tape keep pulling so this black tape is the one that is holding down the screen. All right, as you can see that when I keep pulling, it actually ends up a very, very long double uh, sticky, sticky tape. So there's one side on the right and let's go ahead and do it on the left. oops so when you pull just be very careful with it try not to break it all right i just broke it again which i tell you not to do and i did it myself because i was pulling it too fast do not do that just be very gentle as you pull consistent pressure while you're pulling down that tape all right so once you have done pulling off the two tapes your lcd screen should come off very freely flip it towards yourself and you're going to see this little connector is covered by uh, a static tape or something the grounding tape what you want to do is you want to separate that tape right there Okay, and there's another one plastic tape here that is taping onto it. And now you can gently slide that 30 pin connector away from you. So this is a 30 pin connector LCD screen and now your entire screen is just removed okay now if you're not sure where to buy the screen from what i'm gonna do is i'll link them in the description below and you want to look up for this model here n 140 hca esc revision c3 and also you do need to have this double-sided tape this is the red adhesive double-sided tape. It's 5 mm, 5 millimeter. 
So what you want to do is you want to retape it on that screen like so. Okay, on both sides, left and right, so you can mimic the same that black tape that we removed. So you do need to have double-sided tape to retape back the LPD screen. Okay, now assuming that assuming that this is the new screen that just came in. So again, assuming this is the new screen that just came in. All right. I do not have the screen replacement because I was looking for the model number. Just assuming this is the new screen that came in, what you want to do is you want to do a reverse process, right? So the first thing I like to do is to reconnect the LCD uh, screen cable here, which is the 30 pin connector. You want to slide it in, push it all the way in towards yourself, slide it all the way in, and then have the tape to re-tape it back down. Once you have taped it back down, all right, the next step is to remember the red adhesive tape I was telling you about. We just want to re-tape it here at the very corner on both sides, or you can tape it on the screen, whichever way you like. You can do it on the screen here, or on the base, the top of the laptop screen. So now once you're done with that, the next step you want to do is to re-tape them back together, right? Just lift it up, close it, Okay, when the screen is all back together, now the last step is to reinstall the screen bezel. So when you put the screen bezel back, um, I do not apply any of the double-sided tape because I feel like this leftover tape are still, <coughs> excuse me, this leftover tape are still sticky enough so we can always re-stick it back together. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope that the video is helpful to you. If you have any question, comment below. I do read your comments. And if you have any computer question, uh, just ask me in the comments. And I do read the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you find the video is helpful, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I wish you luck in your repair of your screen. Thanks now. Bye.